his arguments, but, uh, and then you say, so uh, it's just set in force, right? Set, set in force, force zero. zero. And force space zero, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, really? <laughs> what happened? Go! Oh, it's broken. One of the things they need to plug your virtual machine. <laughs> <laughs> we should have mopped it. Patrick has cleaning back. He doesn't have cleaning back. <laughs> Did I screw up my SSH config? <laughs> oh, yeah, because I don't have the scripts. Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, you broke SSH. Yeah, because I don't have the local. Yeah, because yeah, you don't have the scripts directly. So, what I need to do is do this. Uh, one second, everyone. Uh, Manual fix. Yeah, I'm gonna. You can do set. I can do set. SFTP. No, I'm gonna have to do this raw. So I've got to do. You can do set dash i. I know, but I have to do it because I can't. So the way the command works is it actually builds a quick uh, Python thing, pulls it over, and runs it in Python. Uh, but you can run. This is what's neat. This is how you can bootstrap it. You can actually run a raw command. Oh, okay. They highly, they suggest, they literally, they said the only time you should use this is if you have anything that doesn't have a Python environment or you need to bootstrap. Or, or in my case, program. when you screw up my crap. <laughs> <laughs> Although this doesn't work either, will it? What's that? Oh, because it uses SFTP to copy it over. Yeah, it uses okay. SFTP to copy over the module and then run the module and then it and cleans then up after itself. Because SFTP is not working, I need to run it as a raw SSH command so I can just say uh, raw, so I'm going to say sed. What is it? Dash i in place. Uh, quote. Uh, what do I want to match? Just anything with a SSF. Yeah, I was looking at one. So let's so copy that. that. There's actually a delete. A delete. Oh, yeah, that, that, I never get it to work right, so you can try it. <laughs> I always yes. just use S with a thing for lazy. Yeah. Failed. <laughs> I'm not command you. You broke it. Uh, that's because. Screw it. Yeah, that's why I do slash. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, you already have slashes in there. Let's not have play. Oh, crap. Slash is really Yeah, you build pat, pounds, do hash marks, all the something. Yeah, that's good. You win. That's probably a little breaking. Hopefully. No input files, because I suck. Can't tell what the file is. Let's see, it's just going to say, let's see. Amazing. Ta da! Okay, here's the test. Uh, what did I say? Set four zero. Well, this is not going to be the problem, but I can still run this. <laughs> oh, I need to restart SSH. Wow, that sucks. So, we all learned something today. <laughs> uh, not Uh, there's no environments on the command command. There is on the shell, but it caught. But they don't recommend that either because the caught the setup and teardown costs make it go everything goes slower. And they want this to scale, so they they essentially say use full paths and don't. So. Um, yes. All right. I should be able to run this command now. Son of a. <laughs> Missed it. Go look at the file. It's probably wrong. Yeah. No, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I don't have it. You don't have SFTP at all. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we should have actually replaced it with something. Yeah. Uh, don't. Yeah, have it do it. <laughs> <laughs> the group don't. No one caught it. Uh, Where's the default box? Cat, you're at safety. Let's look at what it looks like. Yeah, it's on. That's out on the server. Hold on. No, no, cat, yours. <laughs> 
Oh, it's yeah. It's yours because you can know what a default one looks like. I wonder if I have it. I don't have one installed here. Oh, you don't? Uh, I can go to home, though. Uh, <coughs> come on. Come on. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. Do you have a machine named Bring Your Own Beer? <laughs> Not quite. BYOB. It says BYOB U. So. Universal. Wow, okay. So. <laughs> Troubleshooting, sorry. That's the most value it's, okay. it's always the details. Mm -hmm. It was just fractions of a penny. Uh, I have to change this. Nope, <laughs> other way. Uh, other way. Uh, you left it there. No, because it's different. Oh, is it? It's still different. Uh, so I need to change this. Yeah. Semicolon. tried to bastardize some scripts from what I would use at work, which used some local stuff that I didn't. So what happened is I forgot that the, this depends on a change that I have installed ahead of time, and I didn't quite 
make sure that I had that. That's my fault. In fact, fault. you removed it. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, if your networking could have connected through and routed through the VPN, it would have actually pulled it down. Your SVN checkout. No, I just didn't install Subversion. I took out the oh, Subversion package. Okay. I could actually probably just do that. Well, I can't now because i got to do it raw. Well, I can do that. I'm some weird way now. Uh, yeah. So what I can do is, I'll do this. Um, I'm going to switch to from the ALEG one to my actual work one. So uh, <laughs> Don't break anything. Yeah, so get status, what do I got here? Uh, get checkout. Uh, All right, so. As you can see, I have a lot more playbooks that I actually use. Uh, and if, I, if you look at our hosts, it's much more insane. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I don't think I have, I don't think I have anything in the A here. Can you put comments in that file? Yes. Cool. So like these are comments up here. Can you put them after the config files too? Or yeah. like after a config line, can you put it like to the right? I think so. Let's find out. Uh, this is a yeah. Looks like it. If I do um, cancelable uh, cluster server dash m ping dash o. Dash o. Dash o means instead of doing this, the stanzas, I get it all in one line. So it seems to work. Cool. That'd be nice because then you can name the firewalls with the all standard names. Yes. And then map them all in there. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Because honestly, you shouldn't bury metadata in there anyway. If you can bury it in the config, that's where I'd put it. But, but in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. when you're tired, well, I, honestly, we don't have a whole lot of metadata in there other than it's in Akron and it's a VM or not. That's the only metadata we have in our in our list in our names now. Yeah. So the VM doesn't really matter at 2 a.m. The firewall doesn't matter at 2 a.m. No, it really doesn't matter. In fact, it can confuse you more. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that's the one part I actually regret is it should just be AK and then the number. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because AK. Yeah, it's too late now. I mean, it's, we're already halfway through it, so. Um, Need a little service that just gives you that meta description on every name. Right. So, are there any questions? So I got, this is a ansible.cc is the the website that you can go on. Seriously, like go check it out. If you, if you have any use for this, it takes you less than 20 minutes to learn it and get value out of it. I mean, you're not going to get even, like I've been working on this for a couple of weeks now, especially, or more than a couple of weeks, so it's not that big a deal, but it'll, it's totally worth your time even after 20 minutes, you get value out of it. What's, what I like about it is you can do everything with, with bootstrapping. I didn't even show that, but you can install things without having to, even if it doesn't have the required packages, you can install things with that raw plugin. You just say yum install, you know, Python, JSON, simple JSON, dash Y, and then it'll actually install the one package you need to do everything else after that point, so. You had a, comment, a question? Yeah. How does it work in a mixed environment? Uh, mi by mixed, you mean what? You know what I mean. <laughs> no, I mean, do you mean distros or do you mean like like OSs? Do you mean? OSs. Yeah, no, it's this is strictly Linux only right now, or at least uh, no. I take that back. Sorry. It is anything with Python and SSH. So you've got mostly it's mostly Unix. So they've got uh, modules in there for like Homebrew if you run a bunch of Macs. You can use, um, they've got stuff in there for uh, Open Solaris now. You can do branching based on the groups. Yes. So yeah, and so you can actually make, so. Um, actually, let me show you this one thing too quick. Uh, so, in theory, you could use this on Sigwin. Yeah, I was just saying, we use Sigwin there. I don't see why you could with Python and Sigwin. Yeah, essentially you can make it work. It's just yeah. how useful is it going to be to you can really only manipulate files at the configuration. Yeah, it's probably Unix files. Um, you might be able to change registry keys with a, like a little command line thing, but it wouldn't be a pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, the power. They're working really hard using Hammer, like doing. Yeah. Their answer to that. Yeah. 
Actually, pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Really awesome. Pretty good. That's annoying one. I was going to say, I had some guy yell at me and say, oh, you should be using system configuration management. He's like, because, you know, some of your customers do things wrong with it, right? They're basically saying that people that aren't doing that are doing it wrong. I'm like, actually, having a different syntax now on every single config file on the whole <coughs> server is doing it wrong. Like, doing it right with using one language on everything on the system. Oh, wait, look, it's up so, so right is relative. So I want to show this one last thing too because this kind of goes to your same question and how do you branch, which is essentially what you can, there's a setup called, module called setup uh, that you can run. And the, answer, the, the configuration I'm running here is I'm saying Ansible, I'm matching all because I'm just going to limit it here in a second. I'm saying module setup, I'm not giving it any arguments and then I'm saying dash dash limit equals and then I can actually say what I actually want it to run on. So in this case I'm just running it on one server. I'm actually going to pipe this to less because it's going to give me a bunch of crap. Um, so essentially I get a success and then I get, this is all in JSON so you can programmatically do stuff here, but you get the, the thing is called Ansible Facts and you get things like the IP addresses, uh, that's, it. Uh, that's because I have uh, other stuff in, uh, I can say like architecture, etc. So like if I search for yum, like in here it says <laughs> Ansible package manager is equal to yum. So like I now know that that this particular, so I can essentially, I can, this is actually a variable that I can call inside my, my playbook. So I can say in my playbook, uh, run this command only if the Ansible package manager is equal to yum. So that allows you, so like if you have different environments and it's yum on this side and it might be app get on another, you can, you can essentially run the same thing. You can basically have two stanzas that essentially give you the same thing that you want, but you just run the command with two different commands instead. Um, but this this is kind of like the stuff that you can get. So like if I want to find out, I could essentially run it and then run a command on all things that have greater than four processors or something like, don't configure this software because I have a license for only two sockets or something like that. So actually this is this would be the socket if your license is on socket counts. This is the one you'd want as Ansible processor count. Middleware's four. What's that? Middleware's four. Yeah. So. Anybody else have any other questions? Sorry about my major screw up for that last bit, but. <laughs> but yeah, we all have fun yeah, figuring out. Right? Yeah. So uh, we'll learn more by breaking things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you.